Every summer since I was born, I went to my grandparents' house on Cape Cod. My grandfather was the head of the music department at Harvard. My mother's a music teacher at my elementary school. My aunt is a cellist. They were definitely responsible for making music a day-to-day -day sort of experience for us growing up. But I don't ever think when I was a child or even a teenager that I it even occurred to me that I would get involved in music in a professional capacity. I was sort of feeling confused as one often does when they get out of college, so I got my own crappy mic and unearthed that old guitar, and that's when I started making music, but it was really truly like for myself, like a sort of cathartic release. I mean, I spent about a year and a half just sort of diddling around on it, and then eventually got up the courage to share it with friends, and that's eventually what became the first album I put out. really hard to boil down life to like four or five moments that were the most inspiring things that sort of define why I'm creative. It's so many, it's like, a, it's basically everything. It's just, a lot of it had to do with just touring and meeting people and experiencing the world and traveling and school and my parents and their split, you know, life experiences. It's like, you know, there's so many I think failure and frustration and friction are key to the creative process, especially with collaboration. I mean, if we were able to come together every time and magically, happily create an album in a couple months without fail, I would think that something was wrong. It's. I think every time we finish an album, the question that always comes up is, are we gonna be able to do it again? Will everyone's energy align and will we be able to synergize? As cheesy as that sounds, it's very important that everyone synergize.